Yo guys, thank you so much for clicking this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But before we get into it, I just want to say a couple things. One, the second channel, which will be in the pinned comment down below, is uploading videos every single Wednesday. There's two horror games out on there and a funny video. And there's another one coming up pretty soon. There's also going to be Black Myth Wukong eventually going up on there. I 100% of that game with all secret endings. Um, One of my favorite games of all time. And I'm doing an event right now called a Donothon where every dollar gets added to a timer. And I'm streaming for that entire time at the time of recording this intro. We're at 40 minutes. So you might not see it. You might have missed it, but you can always go back and watch the VODs. Thanks for watching this video. Peace. Yo, what is going on? Sexy Seven Squad today. We are doing a try hard Thursday in Smite 2. The first ever try hard Thursday in Smite 2, actually. And it is gonna be Chalk Solo. Because, in my opinion, I think Chalk is probably the best solo laner in the game right now. Even God's he's, I think he's ban worthy. Like, if I'm just going to say it how, how I think. I think him and Mordred are the two best solo laners in the game. Um, obviously, Mordred is, like, new and shiny. And so, I'm, I'm much more of, like, a Mordred enjoyer. And he's got the anime ult. That's really cool. But Chalk's damage... I'm not going to lie to you. It seems broken. Like he's just doing too much numbies in my opinion, which makes him so, so, so strong. Like I, I didn't buy blink, but I might get the blink active item. Actually, is there still a blink active item? I might've taken it out. I think they took it out. Man, oh, crap. That kind of puts a damper on things. Because I, I did want the blink item. But either way, it's fine. No big deal. I'm going to start Void Shield. And then go into Shifters. And then go into Phoenix. And then go into Glad Shield. Minions that is quadruple strong. Fizz defense. But um, it should be fine. Now I am fighting Oath, who is a pro player. Or used to be a pro. But at the same time... Oh, enemy missing middle. That means there might be three of them in... This bush right here. The meta right now for... Enemy spotted. Oh, nice. Okay, so they see mid. But the meta right now for solo lane is to invade the blue with Sunder. So that's what I'm going to do. Perfect. Just going to invade that blue with Sunder. Which is going to give me an XP advantage. Um, now Mordred does do very, 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 very good damage. And he actually is starting red buff, which means his sustain is going to be crazy. And his poke damage is going to be even crazier. Now, does he have Sunder? He doesn't. He has Blink. He could steal this with Blink. He's not. Good for me. So I just start with double buff control. It's a pretty, uh, pretty perfect start, to be honest. Double, double blue. I do lose wave pressure because I went for the double blue there, but that's fine. I can kill backline. Um, I don't think I can fight him actually, so I'm just not gonna. Well, and you just use all of your abilities. If you use all of your abilities before the fight starts, surely I can fight you. Um, I can get decent damage on him. I can't kill him here, but good damage. Actually, very good damage. How many potions does he have? He has two more. I got two still. Good damage there, too. Nice. All right. We're feeling really good right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I could kill here. He's, uh, he's got minions aggroed on him here. Oh, he actually, oh, Fenner's here. Damn, I might die. Yeah, that stun landed. Damn. I didn't think that stun would land. Oh, Chris is going for this Cuckoo. I don't think he's going to kill him. I don't think he's going to get him. All right, that kind of sucks. I'll go double shield, though. I'm always getting ganked. Chris is my jungler, and he is for a solo laner. He's the worst jungler to have. He never comes solo. <laughs> he always, he always stays like mid and duo, which is good. It's good to do, but the 
the enemy jungle always comes solo and it just makes me sad because I get ganked and I never get ganks. Unfortunately. Um, his blue should be spawning pretty shortly, I think. He's still level four, which is good, but he might hit five off this wave. Got good damage on him there. The 10 seconds on the blue. Um, oh, he doesn't have Sunder. And I do. And this should be completely good for me. Oh, I can kill you here. Are you dead? Perfect. Finally subsides. Perfect. Okay, there's a cuckoo over there. No, thank you. I'm going to run all the way away. Act like they don't exist. Um, I don't know if Fenrir can kill me. He hasn't backed yet. And he's not level 5. So I can be like slightly greedy here. I can be slightly greedy. I can go to blue buff. And yeah, I'm pretty far ahead. I mean, just getting every single buff because of Thunder is just a gigantic advantage to have. I'm level 6 and Mortar just hit 5 now. Now, there is something to note is uh, Mordred, when he ults, he is the loudest thing in the video game. So be prepared for your eardrums to get blown out multiple times this game. It's not loud if you are playing as Mordred. It is loud for those playing against the Mordred. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. No. You cannot win this fight, gamer. He's trying to he's trying to get this. I don't even know what to call this. This little circle thing. But what it does is it blows a big horn that's Omega loud, and then you get um Oh, did you kill yourself? Oh, good blink. Good blink. But it's blows this big horn and then it buffs your your next minion wave of spawns. But it's not only your minion wave, like it's not only solos, it's it's every minion wave. And it makes them do more damage and be tankier. Grab this, and I will buy some potions. Unnecessary investment. And then I will go back to my shifters. Enemy ultimate down. How much better is Smite 2 than the original? I'd say Smite 2 is a pure upgrade. It's it's the most fun version of Smite I've ever played, and I've put in 40 hours straight. Like, I wake up, I place my two, I go to sleep. I wake up, I place my two, I go to sleep. Uh, and I put in 40 hours. And it's like... <laughs> it's so good, dude. It is so good. Alright, well... I do have my Sunder up. I need to make sure I keep my Sunder. Uh, now, Fenrir might come over here again. Because this Mordred might be, like, asking for help on the blue. You can't type yet, but... We'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am definitely dead here. Good ult. Good ult. Oh, what an insane juke by me, baby! What an insane juke and an amazing ult! By, by Hawk and coming up with the Hakate. So if you don't know, Hakate's alt, it drops a portal. It drops a portal where they cast it and then where the targeter is at the end. So like where the Hakate is and then where the Hakate is targeting. And if I stood where the Hakate was targeting or where she was standing and teleported to where the target was to avoid the Kukulkin alt. Holy crap. What a sick play. Also, by the way, the fact that I got double ulted 
by the Mordred and the Fenrir. Technically triple ulted, but I juked the third one. The fact that I actually got hit by double alt Fenrir and Mordred with 1600 gold in hand, and they both died and I didn't die? <laughs> That's crazy. All right, this Mordred cannot kill me. I am too tanky. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Let's go back. Actually, I'm three levels up on this Mordred. I'm just going to fight him. I'm really not scared of him. I, like Maybe I should be a little bit, but I'm not. All right. I have enough for a full shifters, and then I'm going to go into Glad Shield after this. Um... I'll wait the 30 gold just for the 10 cooldown rate. I think 10 cooldown rate is a lot. Um, I do actually have a chart, by the way, for how cooldown rate and cooldown reduction match up between Smite 1 and Smite 2. And I'll show that probably in another video because I'm going to do a an in and out of Smite 2 or Smite 1 to Smite 2 transition. Uh, just, you know, of items and stuff to help players get into Smite 2 if they are having a hard time learning it. Which I'd imagine you would because it is a completely new game. I'm three levels up on Mordred. I'm actually of the opinion that if Fender ganked me right now, I could kill them both. Um, Fender's here... Oh, that hurts. Oh my god. I'm tanking, I'm tanking. Get him, get him, look, get him. Nice. Let's go. Good job, dude. And Ares is here too. Hello, Ares. Alright. I don't know what he thought he was doing. That Ares thought he was about to be the hero. Not in my play. You're not a hero in my play. I'm just going to back right now. Go get Battle Axe. Ah, I lied. I lied. I see a lot of people double stack on Chalk with Typhons. Well, you mean like Transcendence, Book of Thoth, Typhons? Intelligence is... Intelligence does um, scale your heal really well. So it wouldn't be a bad play at all. Ow. I'm, I die here, I think. Wait, no, I don't. I forgot that I'm the highest level character in the game. I think you also might have forgotten how high level I am. Uh-oh. He tried to blink my ult. Dude, if that worked, that would have been sick. If that worked, that would have been sick. Unfortunately for him, it didn't work, but... Would have been cool. And right, now we go Glad Shield. I'm actually kind of down to try this... Well, no, it's Try Hard Thursday, right? I should just... I should just know I should build what I know works. <clears throat> Your middle tower is under yeah, I mean theoretically speaking, yeah, transcendence plus book. Book gives you damage based on your mana. Transcendence gives you damage based on your mana. Both give you a ton of mana. And then you get Typhons for the lifesteal. Which I'm pretty sure Typhons, the only stat it has is lifesteal, correct? Where's where's Typhons? I don't see it anywhere. Alright, let's grab the horn. Oh, it wouldn't be under intelligence, would it? Because it doesn't give... It doesn't give intelligence. 
Yeah, it's only lifesteal. 40% lifesteal. Hello. You're not going to go help that Loki. Relax. Man, they need help. I mean, Loki has ult. I'm down to dive this. Perfect. He would have actually picked up all three of us with that ult. I tried to tank it, but and then I realized me standing in front of it was useless because it's AoE. <laughs> But that would have been sick to tank. We are cooking these guys. We already have three gold furies. Oh, this on her could die. Dude, my one two combo on that on her just did 347. That just did that just did 650 damage to him. <laughs> the Mordred has just come to my chat and said congrats on abusing the fact there's nothing to counter snowballing in this game very impressive gameplay uh I would like to counter that point by saying hello Mordred get a life who wins you decide epic rap battle of history power radiates within <laughs> <this>. <laughs> It's not my fault that you picked Mordred and still lost lane, buddy. It's not my fault that I went the correct relic and you didn't. It's not my fault that I outplayed you when you when you tried to 2v1 me. Actually, that part is my fault. The outplay was my fault. Hello. Oh. Oh, did I catch your ult? Oh no! Oh no, that's so unfortunate. Oh no! Be ashamed if I were to run you down. Be ashamed if my whole T-Bot got you. Uh oh, uh oh! <laughs> Hello, Aries. That's funny. Let's just get this. We have fire, so we do a lot of damage, right? And I have quadruple physical defense, so I should be able to take this with ease. I mean, it does it does actually still hit really hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Dude, my two does 300 damage, and I'm full defense. Oh, better than that. Oh, probably should not have picked me up. I'd say that was probably a misplay. I, I cannot be killed. Right, we can take this, right? Marcus can tank. Yeah. Oh, Honor, why did you run in? Why did you run in? Um, I mean, I guess technically I don't have alt, right? So I shouldn't fight. You have 3,000 gold also. Dude, my damage is so good, though. Like, why am I autoing for 300? I guess I do have Fire Giant. Um, let's go... Let's go Breastplate. 
Just get more cooldown. What's my cooldown rate? This has 20 cooldown rate. This has 15. That's it. I only have 35 cooldown rate. I guess it's okay. It's not the best thing in the world, but... An enemy oh, Kernanos is cooking. Or getting cooked. No, he's actually cooking. Yeah, that, that that is definitely game over. Holy crap. An enemy the team is just running rampant. Left enemy tower. The team is just running rampant. Your team has destroyed a left enemy. Your right and that, my friend will be game one gg 20 minutes i've had duels that lasted longer than that game um i will see you guys in game two welcome back to game number two i am playing chalk again and uh this time i don't know if i'm going to be able to invade because i am fighting these people and on the leaderboard uh these people are basically within the top 10 players in the entire world of smite 2 they're also five man stacked just like i am and um they're very 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 good players they're meta game players this is gonna be a lot harder of a game than last one juice world which is my solo lane enemy i assume it is at least will be um the guy that i'm going up against and he i believe is ranked 10 in the world so literally Second game of Trier Thursday, fighting some of the best Smite 2 players in the entire world. Now, Chris is not helping me invade. So I'm not going to be able to invade. What I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to... Um, probably stay back. Because I think I'll die if I invade. I mean, I'll check. I'll check a bush. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Okay, there he is. Okay, and here's Fenrir. Fantastic. Um, does Fenrir have Sunder? It does. Nice. Nice. We got Fenrir Sunder. We got Fenrir Sunder, and we got, um, the blue still. Oh, unfortunately, uh, because Chris is jungling on the right side of the map, we just straight up lose our entire left lane. Well, not our lane, I guess, but we lose our entire left uh, jungle. Technically speaking, I still like won my lane because I got my blue. I did have to use a lot of my... Um, a lot of my potions, though, because I did take a ton of damage. Now I've been playing. Enemy has been slain. Alright. I don't really care too much about his fighting on me. Because I am level 3. I can do that. <clears throat> now Mordred, how many potions does he have? He still has two more. Yeah, not great for me. Not great for me. Missing that is huge, though. I am trying to get this uh, enhanced minion wave for my boys, though. It would help a lot for them. I can buy both. Who died? Support for... I don't know who... Oh, I guess ADC there. That's good. All right, so I have a lot of mana now. He's getting the horn. I would like if he did not get the horn. Your right tower is under attack. An There's an enemy missing left. I mean, I know he's not doing red buff because the Fenrir did red buff. Yeah, he's in mid lane. Oh, 
Uh, I don't know why Mordred would rotate to that. Maybe he didn't. Maybe I just... I'm just crazy. We got the Warhorn, though. So far, I'd say we are definitely outplaying the rank 10 player in the world. I have way more gold than him. And um, I have gotten more XP than him. Because I've gotten both side camps every time. Even though I got started by getting invaded. So I'd say we're doing really well right now. He's number five currently. He might be number five. I thought he was number 10. But either way, he's like... He's definitely the highest ranked solo lane player in the world right now. I think solo or troll was the highest ranked solo player, but he kind of dropped down because he didn't play as much. Perfect. Let's go, dude. Chris came and got my blue buff and I stole their blue again. That's so huge. And we get the gold. Let's go. You are not going to get this, brother. Oh, I didn't pick up my... I didn't pick up my axe when I used my two. I could have killed him. I definitely could have killed him. Solar Troll is five. Oh, Solar Troll is four. And Juice World is five. But Juice World is playing now and Solo is asleep. And it doesn't update like every other hour. So I guarantee that Juice is like number four in the world then. And above Solar Troll. Because... I mean, I, Solar Troll's been fucking grinding. But everyone's got a nap, dude. Everyone's got to nap it up. I've been grinding too, and I'm not even in the top 300, I don't think. Your middle tower is under attack. I will level up my 7. Mordred is level 6. No hit 7 off his wave, though. I have so much gold in hand. I'm just going to back. You were top 200 yesterday, no? Yeah, but then I went to sleep and no one else did, apparently. <laughs> An ally has been slain. All right. Now we're going Book of Thoughts. So we're going the double stacking... Um, We're going the double stacking... Your right tower Typhon's attack. build with Transcendence and Book of Thoughts and then Typhons. I was told it's insanely good. I could also, I could also go Polynomicon because I'm going to have so much power and my heal is going to be so good. Uh, there's also no enemy here. Oh my God. Enemy missing left. I tried to say enemy missing left and I popped the potion and Asunder. My I go Devils and Triple Stack, yeah, but I don't think that's actually viable. My guess is Mordred's probably waiting in his blue buff right now because he really doesn't want to. He doesn't want to lose another blue buff. Is my guess. Your left tower is under attack. I have just DC'd on stream unfortunately but uh luckily for you guys i'm recording perfect let's go dude we got his blue now the only reason he would be fighting me here is because there's someone coming i really need chris's help here Ah, uh, damn. Oh, Kukulkin was there too. They were all there. All right, well, I got ganked. I got ganked. Unlucky. All 
Alright, our next item is just gonna be Typhons, so we'll go lifesteal. Your right tower is under attack. Oh, hold on, I gotta tell I gotta tell them in chat to refresh. There we go. We back, slain. gamers. We back. Don't worry. Um, so my... It looks like my mid laner and my ADC are getting cooked. We're actually getting cooked. I am now behind the Mordred. I'm still up in gold, but I'm behind in XP. Because I've been getting... ganked. Oh, man. Everyone's getting cooked. Why are you fighting me? someone here I guess to be fair he should fight me right now because once I'm done stacking him fighting me is going to be a thing of the past my heal is already so strong man Ouch. Um, I mean, you stack by dealing damage, right? Enemies at the gold fury. All right, they got a gold, so now they're ahead in gold. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. They killed the Susano, which is good because the Susano had a huge killing spree going on. All right, I got the increased minions. I'm just going to back now. I'm going to go curse sickle because that's the only, <clears throat> excuse me. That is the only uh, component in the Typhons. It's just a pure lifesteal sickle. Has been slain. Oh man. Please kill that Kukulkin. I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to chase and get killed by a gank here. Yeah, he, he knew he was going to get killed if he kept chasing. Smart to back off, even though it feels bad. Oh, sorry. Let's see, Mordred is level 11. What's up, Sam? Enjoying Smite 2? I'm loving Smite 2. And that was that was really good poke damage. Holy shit. Enemies in left lane. Okay. I'm coming to get ganked. Yeah, I'm playing with Chris and Hawken. Okay, so even though we're down a lot of kills, which does feel fucking bad. Um, even though we're down a ton of kills, XP wise it doesn't seem that bad. XP wise it doesn't seem that bad, and on top of that, um, <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to back and get Typhons now. But on top of the XP not being that bad, other than like maybe my ADC and my... Like my dual lane is kind of getting shit on. ADC is three levels down. Supports... Supports only one level down, but... My mid laner is even. My jungler is actually one level up. Enemies in the left jungle. It's not bad. We're not in a tragic place yet. Now we could get there pretty easily <laughs> if we keep fighting and losing these fights, like what's happening in mid right now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say that we won't do that. I guess I'll come mid. A little more. I still don't have either my Transcendence or my Book of Golf stack. But every little bit of damage helps. And once they get stacked, how many stacks do you need? 50 on both? I'll gain... I'll gain pen and damage. When they get stacked up. Your left tower has 
I think Chris wants to kill this Mordred. That did hit him because I did I healed for a hundred there. Landing my one on him healed me for 100 HP. That's crazy. Okay, I'm getting ganked, aren't I? There's three people in this lane. Good Sunder. There's four people in this lane. Wait, every person is in, in this lane. Wait on her. Please don't die. Please don't die here. Oh my god. Bro, we're getting cooked. We are getting cooked. Four people have to rotate to me to kill me. Meanwhile, everyone on my team dies. Unlucky, man. Your left tower has been destroyed. Oh, dude, they got a tier two. Now they're going to do gold as well, I'm pretty sure. That's really bad. I do a lot, but I can't do a lot alone. You know what I mean? All right, the Ancient Fury is going to start spawning. Ancient Fury is so Omega important to get. It disables objectives for a minute. It's like Full Demon in Duel. So it's super important we get that. I want to get this tower down for my for my team to get some gold. Okay. Spinner is just just hanging on me, man. Spinner is here. Enemy missing left. An ally has been slain. Be careful middle. I think this Fenner is just chilling here. I think they know that I'm the I'm the biggest threat in this game right now, and so they're gonna wait for me. They're just gonna try to, to stop me. Alright, I have my book of thought finally maxed out. Fenner is in mid, so I'm going to come back up here. I do not think Mordred can fight me. Maybe he can, I don't know. Alright. Well, Mordred lives. My mid lane does not. Damn. Damn, dude. I'm going to take this tower. Like, I know in mid lane he's going to die. But I don't think I can get there anyways. And I think getting this gold for the team is important. Alright. Next item. Like I said, I'm probably going to go shifters. I might go Eye of the Storm as well. I think they're probably rotating over here. What level's Mordred? He's still 15, almost 16. I'll hit 16 on this wave. So I actually caught up with XP and Mordred. And I'm actually a thousand gold ahead on him. It's really just like this jungler. Oh, are they at the fire? They're not doing fire, are they? They're not. I'm going to back. Never mind. I got to clear this wave first and then I'll back. Um, I 
buy this. Then I buy both components there. I think that's the plan. I'm grouping. Yes. We should defend gold. Defend the gold fury. We should group up and get gold. Now that I can get in the game, I can use this gold advantage I've been accumulating, this XP advantage I've been accumulating. Oh, I don't actually have an XP advantage because everyone's dead. Perfect. Oh, we can kill him? Get him, get him, get him. Please get him. Nice. Oh, I got ulted off the soul there. That is unlucky. Oh, what that? What happened? Oh, God. All right. My heal's going to heal a lot, and I have lifesteal for this, so. I do heal a ton. Are they going to go for gold, or are they going to go for fire is the question. We have Honor checking gold. Uh, they went this way, so I think they're going to go fire, right? The enemy team has no, they did gold. The gold Shit. The I thought they were running this way. All right, well, that disables our objectives. That is really bad. That is really bad for us. Go Eye of the Storm here. Now I need to just go... Probably a straight-up Genji's. Just because I, I need some CDR. And I need to survive that soul. The soul who is going... Crit chance. Oh, they're going to take right our, our left tower here. Your right tower and that left tower was disabled anyways, right? So it doesn't really matter. Technically, all of our towers are disabled. Ult them, ult them, ult them. Oh, he did ult the Fenrir. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if we can fight this. Odin just got picked around the back. Alright, I just did so much damage, dude. The soul is gonna cook me, though. Yeah. They just left me with the soul. You have to kill that cuckoo. No! Why would you push him? Oh, no. Oh, good shit, Hawken. More Jadal. So. Not enough. Not enough. You gotta help that Akate, man. Oh, I don't think it's enough. Oh. Oh. Nice. Wait, Bacchus can solo Mordred here. Bacchus 100% can solo Mordred here. If he can keep up. It's okay, Blink. All right. Autos only do physical, don't they? No, every god only does one damage type. But it's not physical or magical. Or, I'm sorry. You can... Every ability skills with strength or intelligence and every character does physical or magical type it's not based off what you're hit with it's based on what god they are so soul only does magical damage even with their autos even though they can crit and build off of strength so magical defense even against an auto attack soul with strength will still be magical because it's it's a magical god they changed it no they changed it to this so previously, previously, it was 
Like in other playtests, it was different. I need to be in that fight. I think we just lost the game. Oh, that's Usana Liv that's trapping. Yep. can't fight this guy, dude. I just can't fight. He keeps dashing at me. All right. I, dude, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to do. The honor is really not doing damage. Hakate is doing really well. Uh, Bacchus is doing really well. Chris has some good alts. I've had some good alts, but like... All together, we're just not doing enough to kill. We're just not doing enough to, to live and like actually get in there and fight. Um, is that? No, that's just move speed. What is this? I don't think we can do that that gold fury. I think they're gonna be there and on her will be late and I will be late. On her's not even going over there. Oh shit. Can we kill that Susano? Dude, I jump in and instantly get triple ulted. What the fuck? That's insane. They were just waiting for me. They were actually just waiting for me. Oh. Nice kill. Not enough, though. Ah, oh, that's game. That is game. Ah, uh, good stall though, actually. Really good stall. I mean, I'm not going to be able to like defend this, but it was a good stall. The Titan does do a shit ton of damage, by the way. It does like 300 damage per auto. Alright, well, I stalled for a little bit. Bacchus is going to spawn in, and then everyone else is. Uh, not enough. Unlucky. I'll see you guys in the next game. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to game three. This game, I am going to be the crit soul, because uh, last game, I didn't feel like I had the most impact as Chalk. Like, I had some really, really good ults. Um, and don't get me wrong, those were important ults that I landed. But it, I didn't feel like it was the best feeling in the world to go around Always and land those alts. Where I feel like, on the other hand of things, if I just went Devo, uh, Devo Soul with Hasten and Crit Chance, it'll feel really good running some people down. Also, Soul's passive, it's the same passive as it is in Smite 1, but... Uh, now that she can crit with her auto attacks, actually makes her the best auto attack crit user in the game right now. Well, technically, based off percentage increases, Ymir is the best crit auto attacker in the game. But in terms of like actually ranged auto attacks, Soul is the best with her passive. Um, she didn't actually get changed too much between Smite and Smite 2. Um... Instead, really, the only thing that changed was... Instead, the only thing that really changed, I think, was... Her one getting bigger, right? And her three exploding? Jesus, brother, was a fun game. Was that you, Apollo? Which one were you, gamer? 
Do you think auto builds are good? I do think the auto builds are quite good. Yeah, I do think they are. Oh, you're the Susano. My team got owned by you. I asked what was going on in the other on the other side of the map because I was cooking in duo or I was cooking in solo lane. I got every blue buff for ten minutes, both on their side and my side, and I got the red buff. I was huge, but. I guess it just was not my time. Oh God, they knew Bacchus was there. I'm coming. Nice, he lived. It's actually huge that he lived. I'm not going to lie to you. Huge. Not bad. This is a good start for me. You know, Honor's still level one and I'm damn near level three. I blinked uh, just so I could get in front of him so I could get the kill. That was a, that was a cheeky Sunder. It was a cheeky Sunder to go for the kill there. All right, let's get this red buff. I will grab it. Thank you very much, my king. What does Sunder do? Sunder does true damage to enemy gods. And the true damage to jungle camps, it does way more to jungle camps than the enemy gods, obviously, but um, it does do true damage and it is quite good if I do say so myself. Now I have 1200 gold, so I can buy this item and another one of these and some pots again. Backing with perfect gold. Very nice. Very nice. Always love backing with the perfect amount of gold. No, I'm at 2,500 gold. On her is at 2,000. I already have a 500 gold advantage. Partially because of the first the blood. Lane. Although, maybe I didn't even get first blood. Maybe I got second blood. I don't actually know. Enemies in left lane, apparently. I should be on the, be on the lookout for this Loki. I don't want this Loki to come kick my ass. magical. Ow. Oh. Really good damage there. Oh, good wall. Really good freeze wall combo. That was nice. The only reason they would step up if, if, is if we're getting ganked right now. I'm going to play a little bit safer here and play on the left side. There's the Loki. I just heard him. I'm going to damage immune all this. And well played. All right. They're all half HP. Me and Bacchus are both healthy. And again, I'm going to play left side because the Loki could still be here. I'm level five. Perfect. Perfect. They were being greedy because the Loki was coming. We do have Sunder up. I doubt he wants to use it. I'm just going to back. He can Sunder that if he wants. I'm going to start stacking Devos, actually. That is good. And I'm going to get a Mana Pot, because Mana actually has been a little bit of an issue. I'm not going to lie. A little bit of an issue. Now, I'm level 5. I'm level 5 with 1,000 gold extra. I'm coming to gold. I do want this first, though, because this gives me extra intel and strength, both of which my auto scale on. I'm coming. Nice.
All right. Right now, I'm just in the farm fest. I am in the ADC role now. The supports have left, left us to our own devices to fuck around and try to fight each other. In this case, not too much of a fight. That almost killed him. Holy shit. He is here. Perfect. Nice. I get the kill and then I can probably get tower here too because I am soul. And Bacchus is here by the buff to support me if I do get ulted or something. Nice. All right, so we just got a solo kill on the on her and the tower killed. Already have 1,600 gold. I'm just going to back and start working on my, uh, my hastened. Only need 10 gold in order to get the void shard, which is 10% pen out the rip. Pretty insane. This game is going much better than last game. I mean, these aren't literally the, the, the best team in the world right now, but... I shouldn't say best team in the world. They were they were the highest team, the highest rated team in the world is what we just fought last game. The, the team we lost to. I'm not that upset about the loss, honestly, because I feel like if you're going to lose to someone, losing to literally the highest rated team in Smite 2 is like, it's a pretty decent loss to have. <laughs> but I do feel like the performance could have been a little bit better from all parties, including myself. Uh, there's definitely more I could have done there. An enemy has been I'm just going to flank around on this on her. I'm probably not going to be able to kill him, but who knows? Maybe. Uh, he wanted to jump on me, so I'm just going to ult that CC unit. There's Aegis. Oh, nice stun. You're dead to Arch. It was a good stun. All right, Ymir's coming over here. Ymir's level four, though. I am here. And I am willing to fight. Oh, God. I live with 20 health. No way I live this, right? No way, right? Oh my god. That's crazy. Ah! Oh, I thought that was Hades. I thought this was Hades. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, that scared me. Oh my god. Holy crap. My heart. My heart, dude. That was terrifying. Oh, Ymir is here. Oh, Loki is here too. I don't know about all that. I really don't have a lot of life steal yet. I don't even have my Devo stacked yet. The fact that I live there is insane. Whoa, hold together. Um, is Soul the most broken ADC right now? Uh, yes, I would say so. Actually, technically no. Jing Wei is probably the most broken. Uh, but there's there's quite a lot of bugs with Jing Wei that make her the most broken, which is why if you'll notice every single time we get into a game, my, uh, my top pick is always banning Jing Wei because they have a game winning bug with Jing Wei. And a lot of people are abusing it. So.
So technically, in terms of most broken, it's Jingwei, but in terms of legitimately most broken, I'd say Soul. Enemy ultimate down. Man, Chris is in there, huh? He pulled him out of my view. That is so important. Well, Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's got blink. Get him. Get him, Chris. <laughs> Pull his ass. Pull his ass. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, I mean, Soul with Fatalis just does so much. Oh, they just surrendered. That's insane. That's insane. A and O, 10 minute win. We got two 10 minute wins and then a 40 minute loss in this, in this video. That's crazy. All right, GG. I hope you guys enjoyed this try hard Thursday on Smite 2. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.